All right, so today we've got an alert fire extinguisher, one of the plain acid variety. Operates by the reaction of soda water and sulfuric acid to produce pressure to force the water out of the fire extinguisher. It's two and a half gallons and is in need of some serious cleaning. Fortunately today, I've stopped by the hardware store and picked up two gallons of plain old pickling vinegar. About 5% acidity is what they say here. That's 50 grain and a five gallon bucket. I've read a lot of places that the best way to clean copper is with vinegar. It's definitely one of the most economical as far as I've found. Go ahead and introduce this to the bucket. May have to add water to this depending on how much volume we get from this once we add the fire extinguisher see how that displaces trying to film one-handed here don't have a tripod almost had a big accident there would have really made a big mess if we'd got vinegar all over the garage wouldn't we now as for the buoyancy i think i might solve that with a large lead block if it comes to it. It looks like by saturating one half of this in the vinegar for a number of hours and flipping it over, we should have a pretty fine system for cleaning it. It has occurred to me that this um, rubber hose, already seeing some weather and deterioration, might not hold up too well under the vinegar. So I've decided to go ahead and remove that. So, three quarters of an inch. Seems like it'll fit the job quite well. So I've got the fire extinguisher here situated in the vise and on the workbench to give myself a little bit more leverage. And the wrench seems to be making quick work of our hose here. I'll do the rest of that by hand. There we go. Now we get to move on to cleaning. So I have made one further decision before we go ahead and dunk this down the vinegar, and that's to remove the bottle and its little carriage so that we don't have that rattling around in there while we're cleaning. And it should give me an opportunity to take a little bit better look at its internals and get those clean as well. So simply remove the cap. Just continuously struck by the quality of its construction. Here is our acid bottle. Now typically that would be filled up to that line with sulfuric acid. And they seem to have used lead here. Yeah, I think that's either lead or zinc for the plug there. Well, actually it would have to be something like lead because it would react pretty spectacularly if that was zinc. And you got this nice little cage here that for some reason is blue. It's either copper sulfate from spilled acid, but it definitely is a nice shade of blue. And the internal of the fire extinguisher. Nothing much to see in there, just a big empty tank. All right, I have since moved it over here to this metal workbench and I am going to take it and we are going to lower it into the vinegar and we'll pray for the best. Let's see if we have enough to cover it. If not, I'll just add some water. Oh yeah, that takes good care of part of it. I'll get a piece of lead to set on that to keep it sunk. I have now balanced a lead bar on top of this fire extinguisher and we'll just check back on that in a few hours for me, a few minutes for you. and we'll just see how this thing goes. So here we have our um, lid here off the fire extinguisher. 
Looks like someone's done a little bit of work to replace the gasket in here, but I think I'm gonna have to make a better one for it. And this old gasket, which I presume to be the original or close to that, is just absolutely dry rotted. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, and we can go ahead and set this down over in the vinegar as well. Once again, I'm not typically this clumsy. It's just, you know, working with one hand here. I don't have a gimbal for the camera. But I felt as though it was just a good thing to do to get this out of here and take the process. One last piece there that needs to come out. Let's hope it doesn't break into more than one. Explosively removed there. Okay, let's see. Last little bit. There we go. There we go. That's what's left of our gasket there. And we can get this thing cleaned up. Take a look at that, how blue it is on the inside. Made in the USA. Large number of threads there. They say this thing was rated up to 350 PSI. So these are about an hour's results of just the plain soaking. And I've, I've done a little bit of, you know, just rubbing and buffing here. Not too awful much, maybe. Just a little bit there. You can see there's a definite line between the unexposed copper here and the copper that has been sitting in the vinegar bath for quite some time now. And it's just remarkable how... Um, Effortless, effortlessly this would be removed. Now, I'll come around here to the other side and show you the brass on the front. And it looks like I might be having a little bit of trouble with the copper plating itself to the brass, but that should just polish off. After all, it's only a few atoms thick. But overall, pretty satisfied with the copper bath. No, I've just got to go soak the other half of it.